and we are ready to launch the second annual Jennerstown Salutes 150. 150 laps of action commence. And up front, the 32 fastest qualifier, Ripkema, pulls out to a two-car length advantage over the 07 of Everling. And behind Everling, it's wheel to wheel all the way through this field. Lap number one. It's your fastest qualifier, Ripkema, the leader. Emerling, and then right behind him, Silk in the 16 car, and the 79 of McKennedy. McKennedy has been a winner here at Jennerstown in other forms of competition, seeking his first modified victory here. Here we have a battle for the lead. Working lap 19 to the outside, John McKennedy in the 79 machine. Wheel to wheel with Ripkema, the fastest qualifier of the day. Jennerstown salutes 150 action heated at the front as they head into turn number one. Ripkema holds the bottom. McKennedy up top in the 79 car. And Ripkema powers his way back to the front. A little bit of breathing space there. Maybe not a full car length between their bumpers, but McKennedy with a great challenge and now backs it down, perhaps waiting for a later stage in this event or waiting for after pit stops. But J.B. Fortin in the 34 car making some moves early. He is beneath the number 16 of Silk. Silk not only the current points leader, but the 2011 champion of the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour. And he will lose that spot to Fortin, who's now closing in on McKennedy. A strong run here for the 34 of Fortin. McKennedy was challenging for the lead under green flag laps not long ago, and now he's got to watch his rear view mirror. After those two drivers were well out in front of all competitors, now Fortin in the 34 puts a couple car lengths between himself and Silk, and he is making it a three-car battle at the front working lap 32. Just, and the next car to go a lap down is defending race winner Justin Bonsignor. Bonsignor qualified 14th fastest for this event. He has two wins at Jennerstown in three starts. He has never finished worse than fifth here. And the many-time champion of the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour goes a lap down this as is, Ripkema and McKennedy pass him on the front straight. This is something I don't think anybody saw coming tonight. So your iconic modified car is going down a lap. This just past the midpoint of the second annual Jennerstown Salutes 150. Moving around that number 26 machine, putting him another lap down. These race leaders are about to get another opportunity to duke it out in lap traffic. Exactly what McKennedy wants, not what Ripkema wants to see. And while these drivers approach the lap traffic, it'll be interesting to see if your new third place driver, Christopher, is able to close the gap at all just past the midpoint of the event. As the 32 hangs on to a McKennedy right there. Now, here comes Christopher looking down to the inside, wasting no time on McKennedy. Now follows in the tire tracks as they get back into turn number three. Starting back in the eighth position, Christopher did not make any noise in the first 40, 50 laps of this event. And now that McKennedy sees him in the mirror, McKennedy pushes the go button. And then here comes J.B. Fordon to make it a four-car race in car number 34. He's closed it in. It's four drivers all within a second of each other in turn three. With four drivers under a blanket, we have a new leader for the first time in the Jennerstown Salutes 150. John McKennedy hits the scoring line to officially put the number 79 car out in front. And we're green. It is lap 108 of the Jennerstown Salutes 150. Catalano, who has made all three starts in recent NASCAR Wheel and Modified Series competition here at Jennerstown, holding on to the lead for the moment, using the lowest possible lane. And he has about, what, 50 laps more on his tires than Christopher does, and Christopher easily gets around him. Here comes another driver. Is that the 32 on the inside? Ripkema, who we saw fading. Oh, and McKennedy gets into the wall! McKennedy trying to climb back to the top spot, makes hard contact with the outside wall. And only a handful of starts in that Mike Curve car, but look at the change for the lead. Ripkema in the 32 down the back stretch takes the position from Christopher Jr. in the 7NY. Young Mike Christopher Jr. is able to knock on the rear bumper. Now, in the in the first, well, well here we go, side-by-side -side battle, and, and Christopher's going after him. An outside attempt for the, look at Whoa. Ripkema changes grooves and forces him way up the banking. Do you remember when Kyle Bonsignor got into the upper groove and had all the rubber on his tires as a result of just those two corners? Will the same thing happen to Christopher as a result? 
And now politeness will be thrown out the window as Ripkema did everything he could to defend that spot. A bold outside move last time, and now an inside move for Christopher. Tire tracks on the bottom of the yellow line, and he makes the clean pass off of turn number two. New leader as they head to turn three. The legendary Tommy Baldwin Racing Team with a new young driver at the wheel, Mike Christopher Jr. takes the lead with 10 laps remaining in the Jennerstown Salutes 150. Now a team owned by his son Tommy Baldwin Racing takes the white flag and in his first ever visit to Jennerstown Speedway wearing the yellow rookie stripe clearly seen on the back bumper of this legendary machine the final turns for a first time winner in the NASCAR wheel and modified tour Mike Christopher Jr. wins the Jennerstown Salutes 150.